Greetings programs. My name is Ben and I am going to show you how I use Adobe Premiere Pro to create videos that have multiple layers or a whole bunch of videos on the screen at once. Kind of like this video. <laughs> Or this video. Alright, so you got the idea now. I want to take multiple video clips, put them all on the screen at the same time. Now please keep in mind, if you're watching this, I am an amateur at this stuff, especially Adobe Premiere, okay? So if you are a tinkerer or a dabbler or a dreamer, or just someone who doesn't really use Adobe Premiere at all, this video is for you. If you're a professional, go someplace else, and I apologize for all of the mistakes I'm about to make. All right, first of all, let's get me out of the way. All right, so here we go. I've got this video here from Adventure Time. This is Jake the dog making bacon pancakes, right? And what I did was I went ahead and I created some video clips of each of my family members doing a lip dub to this tune, okay? So throughout this piece, we've got Jake the dog singing, and then it goes into each of my family members singing the same song. So first my daughter, and then my wife, and then my son, and finally me, okay? So, but what I want is I want this really nice final shot. You can see right here, I've got the uh, audio for the little jingle, making bacon pancakes, and I want to go ahead and put all of our videos on the same page here, or sorry, in, in the same space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just start copying and pasting like I would uh, in a text program. So I'm going to come down to this video clip, and I'm going to copy it, paste it over here, so now if I come over here, you can see I've got this giant clip ready to go here. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. All right, so see how it's selected, and I've got these wonderful little handles here. And now I can go ahead and literally just resize it. And this is where the amateurishness comes in. I'm sure there is some way that Adobe has for you to actually resize these perfectly without having to worry about all of the... Uh, you know, fudging that I'm about to do. So there's that video. Now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go grab the video of my wife. Okay, and I'm going to paste that in. And you can see I've got three video tracks here. I've got one, two, and three video tracks. So it was kind of helpful to be able to put this uh, right below it on a separate video track. Those of you that use GarageBand or other audio editing programs, like Audacity, you understand how this works. So now I'm going to click on my wife's video and I'm going to resize that too. I'm going to bring this down here. There we go. And now, again, like I said, here's where I start playing and fiddling with it. I'm going to take my daughter's video, bring it up here. There we go. You can see there's a little bit of an overlap. So there we go. Eh, okay, that's not too bad. Not that great, but not too bad. Okay, so now I've got room for one more video clip, video one. So I'm going to go grab the video of my son. I'm going to click on that, and I'm just going to copy it. I'm just using my shortcuts, but you're more than welcome to use edit and copy if you would like. Okay, so I'm going to come back here, put my cursor there. I'm going to go ahead and paste. Oh, and you see that? I totally pasted it into video three. Bad. So I'm going to undo that. And I'll go ahead and I'll paste it into video one. I had to select the video one track. And now here it is down here. So I'm just going to move it. It'll snap in line. And of course, this one's huge, just like the others. So I've got to make this one smaller too. I'm going to bring it right down here. It's getting a little bit easier to line up because I can see where these things meet. All right. Now I've got a problem. I need to copy the video clip of me singing, but unfortunately I'm out of tracks. No problem, I'm gonna come up here to the sequence menu, okay? And then I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom and I'm gonna say add tracks, all right? So it's gonna bring up this little dialog box and it's gonna ask me how many video tracks do I wanna add? So if I know I'm gonna have multiple videos, nine, 10, 12 videos 
uh, up there all at once. I'll have to add the appropriate amount. I just need one, so that's fine. My placement is gonna be after video three. Fantastic. I don't care about the audio tracks because I, sh I stripped all the audio out of these. Um, but if you want to, then you can go ahead and fiddle where the placement of these audio tracks is going to be. I'm gonna click okay. And ta-da, I now have video four, okay? All right, so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click on my clip and I'm gonna copy it. And then I'm gonna come over here, make sure I've got video four selected and I'm gonna paste it right in there and boom, snap that over. And now, hey, look, I'm on top of everybody. That's just because that layer's on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and resize and you can see all those videos are still hiding below. For those of you who use Photoshop, works, the layers work exactly the same way. Whatever's on top gets shown first. So I'm gonna drag my video over here and let's see how well I can do. Uh, you know what, it's not quite perfect, uh, but you know what, there we go. Bada bing, bada boom, it's good enough for this amateur right here. So let's go ahead and play just to see how it's gonna work. And there we go. We're all making bacon pancakes. Sweet. Okay, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, pretty straightforward. Like I said, if you're watching this and going, oh my gosh, Ben, you totally did that wrong, and why would you do that, and there's a better way of doing it, or you can go ahead and bring in some, some guides or, or rulers to, to help uh, align these videos better, please leave some comments uh, on the video or even leave me a video response um, because, like I said, I'm an amateur at this. So there you go. Uh, I'm a little hungry right now. I'm going to go uh, make some pancakes, perhaps. Have fun with your editing.